Hello everybody, so Bitwig 4.0 is finally out and I already showed you a brief video about what's to come for the push and this is now also ready, so driven by Morse number 13, the luggy number is out as well and it provides all the support for all the new features we get in the API for Bitwig. So let's have a look at that. I have a drum machine loaded up here, so let's go here into the drum sequencer and in the drum sequencer let's create a new clip but let's uh, disable here recording so let's have something simple going on maybe let's speed that up oh we're already quite fast okay so now let's add also here a snare so let's maybe remove that one Let's say we have a break and that's something I was always missing. You could create pretty easily a new clip with a simple beat, but then when you want to have some variation and uh, create, for example, a break, this got difficult and you had to go back to the arranger. And now you can do that with all the new options for note editing. And I already showed you all the options. So for example, we could create a long note here, long press it to enter now all the different note values. You can increase the occurrence or whatever ever the repeat but I added now also a simple trick to that you don't have to use the menu here to change the repeat so to do some ratcheting you can press now also the shift button down here and then you can simply increase up so let's say we want to have here eight repeats let's listen to that pretty machine gun so you can edit that as well so we can go here to the note Let's say, let's reduce the velocity. Let's go to the repeat and there you can increase the end velocity and also tweak the curve a bit. So make it sound a little bit more natural. And what you can now do is say, we want not to happen this all the time, but we want to have it only when the fill button is on. And so it's not sounding at all. So we can now also activate the fill mode you can do this by pressing the select button and pressing the repeat button. So this enables fill mode, also press it again to disable it. We could, for example, also add here a crash symbol on the one. And also say for that note, we want to happen it only on the fill on mode. And then we want to have a fill. Let's activate it. Turn it off. So you can pretty easily have such a fill and variations with this functionality. Also this shortcut I showed you for creating the ratcheting. Maybe let's add maybe something like this one. You can also directly press it. So we want to have, for example, that key. You have already two, three, four, six. And if you do select, you can also go down. So you can have less than that. See that? Can also create funny effects with that. So that's already the, the new features for the push and we get the same, yeah, not fully the same, but most of the features as well on the machine from Nature Instruments. So let's switch over to that. So also the machine device gives you these features if you enter the step sequencer mode, either in pad mode or in keyboard mode. So we here have the same drum set up and we have also here the sound. So if you select one, enter the step mode, you see uh, your active notes. And if you not long press it here, but here you need to activate the events one and then you can select the different notes. Here you have now also most of the new options, not every one because it gets a little bit crowded, but the most stuff which helps. So you can still change length, velocity, different velocity settings as well. And now you have more pages so you can step through the three pages uh, with the 4D controller. This is an expression page, pretty similar to what you get here with, with the push I showed you there. You can also then tweak the different settings for velocity, for example. And there is also this shortcut with the select buttons, but you need to turn off effects for that. If you have a note here and want to just increase the ratcheting effect, you can also have that here. And then you can increase the repeats. It works also straight away for a new note. So keep select pressed and 
create new nodes for ratcheting effects. So this is a little bit of a speed up. Same thing, you can also deactivate and activate the fill mode also with the select and the note repeat button. And this will also be shown in the display that this function is on. Yeah, and this feature is also available for all supported Machina models. So Machina Mark II, the Studio, the Mark III and the Machina Plus as well. And then there is also some support for other controllers. I didn't add any note editing there because these other controllers don't have displays and uh, yeah, are much more limited. But if you have a grid, you can at least have the ratcheting effect, which is the most uh, thing uh, musicians like to have. So for the APC40 series, for the Akai Fire Launchpad, also the Novation SL Mark III and the Machine Jam here, there is this ratcheting feature available as well that you can have, for example, here select and press a sequencer node and you can do the same as I showed you here with the select button as well. So cool stuff here for Bitwig 4 with Driven by Moss 13.0 and I hope you dig it and make some funky music.